She's going for a back air. She's going mm -hmm. for a, like a lot of back airs. Going for like oh, a down tilt on ledge, uh, dash attack if you're feeling frisky. Yep. Uh, but it's like, come on, D3 will is one of those players that uses Jet Hammer enough that I think he probably plays a little bit differently than some of the other DDDs that you might have expected. No, um, there are still some people who use like the weird stuff that DDD can do in neutral, and I think the movement tech that, that D3 will, I think his movement with DDD is absolutely killing. Yeah. And, I mean, we saw early him use that inhale at zero. I think we're actually going to see a lot of that in this matchup, because otherwise, how does... How does DDD get in on me, Gunner, right? All, you can just throw out Missile, you can just throw out Charge Shot, you can just throw out any of your projectiles, Bomb too, and they just throw Gordo back for free. You don't have that projectile to run in behind. Yep. So how do you how do you get in without inhale, without threatening that Reflect, without threatening that Suck and Send getting you all the way out there? It's You're just it's just so hard. Already looking for the Jet Hammer, are we? I see uh, D3 Will is already going off to a, a rousing start. Well, let's see what we've got. Up Smash City, this is... Wow, Sled really going for something. He's like, I, I'm so sick. I, if I can kill a DD before 100%, I'll break a new world record. I'm yeah. really motivated to do that right now. Sled using a up B we don't see very often from me Gunner players. There's most of them opt for the, um, oh god, I'm forgetting what number it is. The one that you can control the angle of after yeah. you send it, so it has a curve, it doesn't have it. Yeah. But Sled instead opting for one that it has a spike hitbox at the initial, it ha and it also has a hitbox, it, it can kill. It's a great out of shield yep. option, but... Just not a very flexible recovery tool. Well, really interesting to see from him here, and we saw him attempting to find a stock with it to no avail early on. Yes, exactly. We're getting uh, D3 Will getting the uh, the reel back throw uh, again with a Gordo, and now you can see these movement options that Sled's been mm -hmm. looking for are getting prepared for by D3 Will. He's still missing on the execution, though, so we have yet to see. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to wait. What the? Well, you were going to hit that back here. What the heck was that? It's, I feel like we're watching, we're watching, you know, it's it's DDD versus, uh, hey mom, we have Samus at home. Samus aerial at home. aerial cross-up? What is that? Yeah, it's just, the, the, the options Sled has picked in so many situations so far in the short game are just completely unorthodox for how you play me Gunner, right? right? Like, compared to everybody else who, who plays this character, or, 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 <laughs> it's just, no, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I love it, the extensions. And that's why if D3 Will is able to get in close enough that he can use those, that's great. Catch Sled on the startup on some of these moves and then just barrel through all of those options yeah. with those extensions. And Sled just watches in horror as it happens. And that missile into charge shot, not going to work on a smaller character, but taking full advantage of DDD's big body, right. him being that super heavy, you need to really force him between a rock and a hard place because most, right, most characters have have a way to get out of that situation, but trying to find something off the bomb, but unfortunately just not looking to commit soon enough to really find the true conversion and still in the corner for it, but again, looking for that up air drag down to no avail too. Yeah, and you can see D3 Will expecting a lot of this stuff from Slide. They played each other enough. I think they're both from Maryland. This is just going to be a call out and a half. D3 Will just goes all the way out there, has all the jumps to do so, and then he can just do it again. Like, if you miss that, jump backwards, do it again, right? Or, or nair downwards. Like, there's so many things you can do here um, that Unfortunately, I feel like Sled playing a, a character that is rather low tier is going to be kind of beat out. I, 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 I'm going to push back on, on saying that okay. uh, Me Gunner's low tier. Okay. I actually think Me Gunner's higher on the tier list than DDD is. <laughs> Uh, my my opinion crazy. is that uh, the me's there's a there's a bottom tier me a mid tier me and a high tier me. Sword Sword Fighter is the bottom thank tier you, me. You. Yeah, that, that character is really. No one in the right mind would say bra Brawler, but like yeah. no. just have to be sure. Brawler's good. Brawler's it doesn't good. matter what moves that you have on Brawler. That character's normals are stupid, but <laughs> unfortunately Brawler not in the match here. It's just me Gunner. We got Sand Undertale in the house, but no Megalovania Jeez. to speak of. We've only got that Pokemon music coming in. Although, actually, doesn't didn't Toby Fox write music for Scarlet and Violet? So, like, uh, yeah, uh, the new one. Yeah, so like, We'd I love guess. to see that DLC. Give me, give me the music. Give me the Scarlet and Violet music. That's like the best part of the game. Anyway, yeah. talking about the yeah. uh, speaking of, I, I was, I'm sorry, I, I actually would like to talk about Pokemon more than this, but I, I have to talk about the game. Sorry, folks. So yeah. we've got the up smash coming in on the platform. That's the coverage that we're looking for here. That uh, the platform. Yeah, big just boy, going big to hammer. Just so much here for D3 and Well. I love it. Yeah, you just put it together. One, two, three, D, 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 right? You're going to hit that hammer, send them all the way to the blast zone, but you have to find your way in. And D3 Will's done a really good job baiting out out these projectiles. He's still getting caught by some every once in a while, but he's 
let Sled push these buttons preemptively and then just abusing DDD's multiple jumps in the hammer to find ways in. Absolutely. So now we're going for an inhale. Yep, the B reverse at that. So uh, this time Prox Bomb actually sending Gordo back to sender, which is really nice. Um, that's a great way for Sled to be able to deal with that projectile because that actually has been going tit for tat against the actual projectiles that Sled's throwing out too, right? Like they have actually traded some interesting interactions. Yep, and the, and Prox Bomb, one of the reasons that Me Gunner is considered to have one of the best ledge traps in the game, you have your option of Smoke Grenade or Charge Shot, both of, of which are very good for ledge trapping as well, and Missile. Like, this character just really just doesn't want to let you off the ledge, but uh oh, D3 will, finding Again. an edge guard situation, Again. and just fair after fair doesn't after fair. He doesn't have to do anything there, he just watches as he recognizes the up, he's not going to get him back, no horizontal drift left to, to rely on. Uh, and D3 will, yep, catching on some of these, like, I would say overcommitments, right? Like, this this reliance on the up air, uh, Sled looking for anything here because, again, it's an aerial character. And I loved his patience finding his way off the ledge there, trying to cover with that at fair twice, but again, uh, right, all, D3 will also playing very patient and not getting caught out, not holding forward, just waiting to take his opportunities. Is, is Jet Hammer so scary? That's the special, but it's not going to be catch at Sled ready for it, finding the charge saw off the platform, and I mean, he's cooking. Now that's what I wanted to see, is those jump call-outs, because D3 will, like, you can expect that D3, or like, DDD is going to jump, like, a couple more times after he gets hit. He's uh, like, okay, I'm just gonna uh, jump at a disadvantage because I got multiple. I'm sorry, that was a 60% combo into a corner situation and in, in by sure. me, Gunner. That, that just is absolutely silly. Unfortunately, not able to find the ledge trap, but just the, the, the amount of pressure that this character can find if you if you just push an unsafe option next to them oh. is kind of absurd considering that there is owner. What is happening right now? D3 Will is taking uncontested damage. He's done. He's and, done. Uh, this is a game three situation. I, I, Sled just didn't get touched. I was gonna say the way the way this set just went. Uh, I think he might have to change his way, name to G3 Will because we're headed right to a game three. Got him. Got him. Sled though, what a, what a play! Like literally was so patient and doing all of the right things, played around the Gordo effectively, played around the aerial mm -hmm. drift effectively, called out the jumps with the plum. Like, that's literally the DDD counterplay at work here, folks. Sled, making me Gunner look sick, question mark? Oh, I, I would agree. Sick? I mean, like, I, puke well, sick? Well, yes. Well, well, hold yes. On. No, no, good, no, no, no. It's good. Have, it's you, good. have you ever it's seen... Good. Good. Okay, have you ever seen Capitan Cito play? Because he cooks with this character, too. He can, he can cook with this character. Loose Leaf in Connecticut also no, cooks with this I character. I mean, he, he, he very rarely goes to tournaments, but when he does, I, he was seated like 33rd at the first tournament he went to, and then just like immediately upset Blitz Luigi round one and then like up third at the tournament. It was kind of insane. But, I mean, before, before, Red, before Red Ulan was like hardcore, like Wii Fit main, like also played a lot of Me Gunner in, in Ultimate. So we had a couple of Me Gunners in Maryland. I don't know what it is in the water, but it's something bad. Listen, I mean, sometimes you just want to see yourself uh, elf rooting, rooting everyone else's fun by not letting them play the game. Okay, now and, that I respect. San, that, San, that I respect. Or you just want to see Sans Undertale trolling, you know, trolling, trolling everyone to Kingdom Come and back, back. But D3 will just really looking to just make full use of the inhale L over and over. But the dash attack belly just not gonna find it and gonna get put in a juggle situation, but not able to find too much off of it. Yeah, and still now looking for everything here, right? Back airs into uh, to Gordos, looking for a fair to catch some of these higher recoveries off stage. And even then, I like the sled is still getting these right projectile call-outs, knowing when D3 Will's going to be using an animation, like using something that he's stuck in. And then sled throws out things like the charge shot that is unavoidable in that situation. Or, or that F smash as well. People don't talk about it. That right. move is super active. And, and, just, and the hitbox covers like a third of the stage. Like, right. it's Ooh. just absurd. And the up smash into, into up B, just Crazy. applying so much, just incredibly uh -oh. strong pressure. You can't jump, but... The air Speaking dodge. of no oh, jumps, right? No jump, ump, unfortunate directional air dodge. Yeah, it looked like just an unforced yeah. error there, unfortunately. So, uh, I mean, you take those. D3 Will is going to be taking those, and now he's like, okay, I've got myself back in this. Uh, this was looking like a dangerous game for him. However, he's got his second lease on life now, and things have slowed down to a crawl here. Yeah, both these players, there's knowing that their winner's side life is on the line. I'm just trying to play so patient they both characters wanting to control the pace of the game slow things down anyways and so when they're both in oh. these pressure situations and 
They, they're just going to stop interacting. That's crazy. I mean, even when D3 Will had the opportunity mm -hmm. to get a huge punish there, followed up, and, w and it was like watching Sled, like watching him fall back with him. And that was so smart. Gordo. Doesn't find the stock, but realizing that because Sled was holding shield, it'll, it'll, he can throw Gordo and either Sled drop shield and gets hit by Gordo, or Gordo hit shield, he gets to grab... Uh. Mi yeah, finds yeah, yeah. the advantage state. Just beautiful, beautiful old, old punish it, punish on a defensive option there and finds Speaking a stop a from the ensuing advantage. That's the thing. is like Now Sled is getting called out for some of these aggressive up specials. Mm -hmm. uh, that is going to get you in trouble here if you overutilize that tool. And D3 Will is starting to pick up on the signs. Now that we've got a fully charged charge shot, this is going to be all the more necessary to use to get that damage, get potentially a stock, and get it to a last stock situation or else. I respect that Sled is like throwing out these falling up airs or, or is like he's gonna threaten the drag downs, but also knows that D3 will also knows that they aren't real and so just isn't going for yeah. them anyways, but he's still threatening them, so you have just, to respect it. Just in case. You have to do something, right? It's, yeah. It forces the reaction, and that's the one you're really looking for, right? What comes afterwards? I love the idea of bomb to cover roll in, but D3 will already ready for it with the Gordo. Oh, and both these players just trying to find a way to make anything happen, and Sled. And certainly behind in this game on his last ass stock, uh, close to kill percent, uh, and that up air or up tilt, sorry, is gonna take it. Yeah. Just wasn't able to close it out. You gave DDD Max rage. He already right. He's a super heavy. What do super heavies do? They cheese you out and they kill you early. Right, and it was obvious. It was obviously it was going to go for the up air, looking for that anti air, mm -hmm. and it just ended up being a quickly. Like, all I yep. have to do is spot dodge this, land, and then I up tilt you because I yep. get back faster than you. And you're like in that animation, come back yep. down, I got something for and, you. And I think what you just said is is also like pretty emblematic of uh, me Gunner's flaws as a character. The character's flow charts are absurd. Like the character just is like, okay, I'm gonna do this and this and this on all of my hitboxes are huge and active and wall you out and are disjointed and That's true. like, but also when you force them into scrap situations, when you force them into panic options, they only have one or two options for each situation. And so you saw D3 will say, okay, I know you're going to bomb here because what else can you do? I know you're going to up air here because what else can you do? Yeah. Knew the missiles were coming out, would nair mm -hmm. through the missiles and just be like, literally like, this is one of your best like projectiles and I, I just nair through it. Like I'm yeah. like, like I'm King K rule or something. Like, okay.